Hey, it's Akbar Baji Biamela alongside Megan Collins from Style Girlfriend. We're here at the NFL Honors on the red carpet, and I'm excited to go through what all of the guys were wearing today. I mean, we saw some bold looks, some really interesting accessory choices, and I can't wait to hand out some awards. They're giving out hardware out there. Let's do it right here. Well, first off, let's talk about Bet's Pants. Great place to start, and it absolutely had to go to Mike Ditka, who I think was channeling Cam Newton in some very sharp Versace pants tonight. Uh, yeah, I, I like that. I mean, you could see it. it was a little subtle, but it was ostentatious enough to kind of grab your attention. And let's talk about the boldest look. You know, that is tough. So many guys brought so many interesting looks with them tonight on the red carpet, but I have to give it to DeAndre Hopkins who was working some very, very sharp blue Prada sneakers with an Alexander McQueen tux. Loved every part of it. He was blinging for sure. We could probably all use a little more bling in our life. We could use bling, but we also could use clutch as well. Let's talk about the most clutch performance on the red carpet. What happened was Todd Gurley, he said, my suit got stuck in customs. I was supposed to wear something else. I had my teammate, my teammate, my friend. He had a buddy go over to his house, FaceTime him from his closet and Todd picked out his suit. And that is how he showed up and what he was wearing tonight. So gotta give clutch performance to Todd Gurley. Well, accessories were definitely the thing on the red carpet. We saw a lot of accessories. Mm -hmm. Who had the statement accessory to you? Reggie Bush actually really blew my mind. He was wearing a wedding ring that matched his watch. Yeah, it was a Hugo watch. It was rose gold face with the rose gold ring. That to me was a clever idea. I've never heard of it before. He said he has one in black, he has one in silver, so he can match his wedding ring to his watch. Well, who wouldn't love that? Well, we saw a lot of bow ties on the red carpet. I'm wearing a bow tie, so I have to ask you, who has the best bow tie? <clears throat> <laughs> oh, this is a tough one, <laughs> but... I've got to give it to Jameis Winston, who took some advice from Jay-Z, and he went with Tom Ford, and I loved it. It was velvet, it was a little bit bigger. Well, yeah, Jameis Winston definitely coming to America with that velvet tie. Uh, let's talk about the best dressed family on the red carpet. You know what? I think this one actually has to be a tie because really? we saw Cam Newton's family was here tonight. Not surprisingly, everybody looked super sharp, patterned sport coats and bright colors, and everything fit just right. But I also really liked the Steele family. They looked really great, and oh my gosh, that little girl, oh, I could have talked talk to her about for days. Leia. I mean, he said, my daddy picked it out, and it was so beautiful. That was really a cute moment there. Of course, he dressed his whole family, he dressed his fiance, and, and she his seemed fine with it. Well, of course, the big award has to be the best dressed on the red carpet. Everybody wants this, but only one person can get best dressed. Who do you think was the best dressed? I have to go to Eric Berry. Tell me if you agree. Well, I absolutely agree, especially that color. I'm not quite sure how you define that color, but I mean, it looked like it was eggplant, maybe Merlot, but the way he put it together, it matched his skin tone. Everything was just kind of put together for Eric Berry. And I love Berry. those socks. Did you see his socks? There was a little bit of purple in them, but not too much. If we had a socks category, he absolutely won the one. He oh yeah, let's give him best dress socks and category. socks. Yeah. Well, that's it here from the red carpet here at the NFL Honors for Super Bowl 50. We had a great time here. I saw some great looks, no real misses, so I feel good about it. Oh, I can't wait for next year. Stop.